Oh, it's it's very nice to uh, have cover with your own son, and uh, you know, um, you talk about life and uh, stuff like that. It's uh, what they a bit struggle at school and uh, life. What me and my wife uh, done to them is they happy with that or not? So that's how you use the cover uh, for you know. That's what I explain it to the boys. And when they start filling the cover, they start to open with me. Because I, uh, they can talk to their mother any time and think, but not myself, you know. It's very hard for them to face me. And uh, and with the boys, like when I ask them, oh, why don't you go and sit and talk with your dad? They're like, mum, you don't get it. It's a man thing. It's a man thing. I was like, what man thing? So when the boys started drinking cover with their dad and then they're like oh, yeah mum it's like so cool it's sort of like he's teaching us how to be good respectful young men because when you're sitting there you're talking about history tradition culture if you drink it tonight until tomorrow you still know what you're doing but if you, i think the beer if you drink beer uh, probably uh, late tonight fighting or thing but this thing you can drink it as much as you can, but you still can control yourself. Do you feel a bit numb? The cover's a bit weak. It <laughs> hit me yet. I highly recommend this for rugby players. Yeah. Um, helps them get their brain strong. Also helps, um, helps your blood. And, uh, but I don't drink it every day because it makes your skin look oh, saggy and old. I only have like one one responsibility to be honest, like looking at it <laughs> off the field I only have one. And that's kind of just keeping the boys together, you know. Making sure there's no like little cliques, like you know, no little groups in between the boys. I was very pleasantly surprised to find out Willie was captain. I actually thought whoever made that call, smart, smart person, yep. because he's level-headed, he's what you want from a captain. Incredibly mature for a guy his age. Like, he frights me as someone who's about 25. I'm going to study business, so... Yeah, um, yeah I reckon I'm just good at talking to people. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, I'm good at talking to people, good at numbers. And we know that probably less than 30% of our students head off next year to go follow those tertiary pathways and Willie is determined to do it and I can see him doing that next year. No, I was hugely impressed with the way he'd work in class. You know, I, I set a task, he's actually going to get down and do it. And the most impressive part is he was willing to help others. Um, Willie last year was not going so well. We had conversations with him of, are you sure you actually want to be at school? Is this what you want to do? Oh, no, I actually started TC at year 11. I was a troubled kid, man. You know, like, I was, I only knew a few people, but, like, back then TC wasn't, you know, down with, like, strangers, you know. So I just came into the school, got into a couple of fights at the back of the air. You know, no teachers saw it. You know, it was just the way things were. I just kept getting stepped to by year 13s, 12s. It was just because, like, I don't know, I had a reputation of Playboy. It's such a stupid name, but like, I don't know who, who, you know, spread that out. So then that happened and then every guy was just like, nah, nah, not this guy. All over their girls, eh? All over their girls, man. So stupid, man. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so this is where the magic happens. There's not much, but um, well, I guess this is my like little workout spot. This is my little area. I prospected for first 15 that year, the end of that year, and I met staff during preseason, This is when like everything changes, man. Like straight away he captured my attention because he's always, he wanted to be that guy. He wanted to be the guy that leads from the front. I don't want to say it as a, in a negative way, but he wanted to have the, I guess the attention or the limelight. Uh, man, I used to walk into his class thinking I was the man, eh? But this guy used to like, never look at me like that, you know? Everyone else looked at me like that and I could see it in their eyes, but Staff just looked at me like a student. <laughs> Kitchen, dining area, dog bed. It ain't much, but I guess the future's got bigger plans, eh? <laughs>
He's like the perfect flanker. David Pocock. I watched this guy over and over just because of his technique. I watched this over and over until like it's embedded in my brain like that. That's beautiful. Halfway through the year, he just went real quiet. He stopped coming to school or come late to school and he was quite withdrawn. And that's when the first alarm bell started coming up and I was like, man, I, I need to talk to this kid. In that period, I was kind of like um, messing around with the big homies, you know? Like the dudes outside of school, mostly because I thought, um, nah, because I, I, I was trying to rush my process, you know? The teachers were emailing me, hey, something's wrong with Willie, or Willie ain't doing his work. So during that time, him and I would always sit together, have conversations like, hey man, I can't help you if, you if you don't let me know what's happening. I told him straight up, because like, I didn't want to lie to him, you know? And then I just told him, look man, if you want to head down that path, that's a dangerous path. If you carry on, these are the way you're heading. Well, where, where's this um, path or avenue? Where, where's it going to take you? Where if you stay here at school, your options are, are endless. But if you go down here, you're, you're just, you're limiting yourself. And then he, he, he just told me that, don't rush the process, you know? Like, take my time with it. I'll, I'll have my turn out there, but just don't rush it. So I was just like, yeah, safe. Dropped all of that, you know? I was, had to spend, what, two weeks trying to talk to the homies, you know? Talk them out of it, like, nah, let me out, you know what I mean? I, I want out, like, I want them to focus on school. And to add to that, he actually apologized this year for his antics last year. But I said, hey man, you're young. You know, I was there once. You know, I wasn't a perfect student or a child. I was like, as long as you can see your mistakes and you're willing to change, I said, hey man, that's a win. And then after that day, man, I just felt like, nah, this is it. You know what I mean? I gotta like change my attitude. Like, this is how like, I wanna live life. You know, I wanna be healthy. Cause like the way I felt after that day was just so amazing. I felt so healthy, felt so like free. I found like an escape from all this negative energy, you know what I mean? So then rugby was just like, you know, my nice little escape until I started actually loving it, you know? And then it just became like, yeah, every day. You know what I mean? That's what I dream about, like every day, man. <laughs> just want to hit the fields, man. The haka is more like just showing them who we are, eh? like as a team, as a warrior, Tangaro College pretty much, you know what I mean? There's a lot of talk about who's going to lead the haka, who's doing this, who's doing that. My recommendation was, honest recommendation was, um, I'm putting in Sifu. Sifu is our, our Haka leader for tomorrow, hey boys. Give him a round of applause. Motua! Motangaro! For Maloshi Motangaro! Toko! Uso! Asso! Uma! Yabuyami! Tomorrow, the day! Tomorrow, the man! Oi! Tomorrow! Oh, Tala! Oi! Toro na kei wao! Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.